Hey, what's up, Reefers? By the time you watch this video, I will no longer be around. Because I'm going to Philippines! <laughs> Woo, I'm sorry for this clickbait title, but let's have a little fun, shall we? Basically, I'll be in Philippines for two weeks, and by the time you're watching this video, I'll be already in Philippines. I'll be in Cebu to be exact. I'm going to Manila, Cebu, El Nido, and then back to Manila again. And I think I may actually be meeting some of you guys there in Manila. I really appreciate any tips you can give me in terms of like uh, what to do in Philippines, especially at those cities. But in the meantime, I am not going to leave you guys hanging. Today I'm going to introduce you guys to four channels that I really enjoy watching and I really really honestly believe that they deserve a lot more subscribers. Check out the following four channels, be sure to do a like, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, which I think you will. And now with that said, be sure to stay to the end as well because I got some nice clips of this awesome looking seahorse tank from Reef Escape, another local reef store uh, in Virginia. And the reason I really like the tank is because it looks so natural. It has a lot of macroalgae, a lot of sponges, all the seahorses so engaging and healthy. And that's actually something I want to get into the, the video for next week. I'm going to talk about the future plan for tank setup. And I'm really leaning towards a low-tech seahorse tank, which I'll dive a little bit deeper into next time. Well, without further ado, please enjoy these four channels as well as the seahorse tank at the end. And I will see you next Sunday, 9.30 a.m. sharp. What's up, inappropriate reefer fans? This is Cywar, and I wanted to invite you to come over and check out my channel. Here, I document the ups and downs of my 55-gallon mixed reef tank. You'll be able to check out my product reviews, tank updates, unboxing videos, and DIY projects as well as a look into my reef-related adventures. I also do regular updates on Instagram, so check me out there as well. Well, that's it for me, guys. But before I go, I want to thank Inappropriate Reefer for including me in this video. It's absolutely awesome to be an up-and-comer in the YouTube reefing community. Until next time, stay salty. ¿Qué tal mis amigos? And welcome to Panama Reefs. This channel is all about reefing in this tropical country. Here you're gonna see the tanks, the fish, the coral, the shops, the diving. But most of all, you're gonna experience the journey of this beginner reefer from a pile of rock in a glass box to the real dream tank. So come with me and check it out! Hey everybody, Reef Girl here. First of all, a big thank you to Inappropriate Reefer for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself to his viewers. What's my channel about? Well, pretty much everything that happens to me along the way to learning how to keep a reef tank. Every once in a while, I have a little rant. That's a new series. But my videos, there's almost 200 of them, document all of the stuff that happens. The good, the bad, the ugly, wacky DIY, thinking outside the box, and the problems that I have and whether or not I can solve them. What you see here are some of the corals I've moved into my new tank, the Red Sea Reefer XL425. And there are lots of videos about that whole process and lots more to come. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's going on there fellow reefers? It's me, Billy Pipes. Just wanna let you guys know that I've been in the hobby for about two years. I've become fully addicted to it. I can't get enough of it. I love it. I love going to frag swaps. I love watching other people's channels, seeing the progressions of their tanks. I like to do reviews. I like to do DIYs. That's a big, big part of my channel. I like to build as many different crazy little things as possible for me and for other people. Here's the brand new sump that I just built for my brand new system. I just currently started building a 75 gallon reef tank. You can see here it's cycling. Got a little bit of coral in there. 
So I hope you guys come along for the journey. Check out my channel. Check out my tank. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Yeah, go for it. Oh, man. Oh, so loud. Yeah. Wow. How often do you guys have to uh, feed your seahorses? Yeah, we feed them twice a day. Twice a day? Once in the morning, once in the evening. And obviously they all take frozen already, yeah? Yeah. Oh, blowing the air out of the... This is so cool. So how do you guys fight the, um, as you put in frozen food, I guess you introduce like uh, nutrients yeah. into your system. Yeah. Do you need like a stronger filtration for this tank? Or? Uh, we actually keep this tank a little bit dirty because of the sea sponges in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. They need a lot of um, like particulates in the water, and which is good for it because the seahorses, they're going to see eaters too. So. Right. So this thing is a bit dirtier, dirtier than the others, but you know, it's fine. That's a really good point. And the sponge usually do pretty well for you guys? Because yeah. I know the, like, the orange tree sponge, sometimes people have trouble keeping them. Well, this is a cold water system. Like, it's like at most 72. Oh, okay. So, that's why you can keep sponges in there. Oh, so is that why? Like, yeah. usually people put sponge in a um, regular t tank, maybe it's like 78, 80. Yeah. That's too much, too hot. Too yeah, like they're, they're still coming up like a little bit higher than that. Mm. So that's why this is a good system for them. It's nice, cold, and dirty. Did you have to run a chiller at all? Or? Yeah, I got the little chiller fan up there. Oh, so just fan? Fan is good yeah, enough? Yeah, just over the top, yeah. Well, for a system this small, yeah. That is awesome. Got a C-Squirt going in there, too. Nice. Hey, thank you so much. Okay. It's a beautiful tank. Some more.